Did you know that tires in England are spelled with a Y? <laughs> tires can be complicated, but we're here to simplify those rubber hoop shoes. These spherical bits of traction are your contact to the road. They've been helping your fuel economy, speed, grip, and comfort since your grandpappy's grandpappy realized horseshoes don't fit on his new Model T. But there's a few things to understand before you jump into your purchase. We're gonna talk about tire size, categories of tire, UTQG and whatever the heck that is, and we're also going to give some suggestions at the end. Our first piece of advice, as always, is to check the wear on your tires. Luckily, if you don't know how, we have a video for you. Just click here. Once you've confirmed you need new tires, we're on to our first subject, tire size. This is the bane of the tire consumer. We can't stress this enough. Check and double check your tire size. You can find it in one of four ways, your owner's manual, the side door jam, the interwebs, or the free fixed app. We still suggest finding two separate sources just to be sure. Wondering if you found the right numbers? When you see a list of numbers and letters that look like the matrix, you're on the right path. Now to get to your new tire quicker, we're gonna skip all this sizing information. It's important, but we created a separate video here. The Uniform Tire Quality Grade, or the UTQG is the standardization for the US for most tires. It grades tread wear, traction, and temperature, and can be vital in your purchasing of your new tires. The format is a three digit number followed by two letters. Your tread wear is going to be this first number. It's an important one. This gives you an idea of the durability and the longevity of your car tire. The higher the number, in theory, the longer your tire will last. It's measured off a baseline tire of 100. That means if your tire has a rating of 200, it'll last two times as long. Now traction is our second rating. It goes from AA to C. Just keep in mind, if your summer tires have a rating of AA, this doesn't mean that they're good winter tires. That's silly. Finally, the last number is temperature. Now, what does temperature have to do with your tire? Everything. If your tire is getting too hot, when it's also rotating, that friction causes it to heat up. So if it has a low temperature rating and gets too hot, it's more likely to blow out. In this case, A is the highest and C is the lowest. There are three main categories of tires, summer, winter, and all season. Then amongst these are a slew of sneaky separate subcategories. Each name should give you an idea of what they do, but for now, we'll narrow it down to the top three and just show the comparables between them. And here's a nifty graph to go along with it. As you can see, summer and winter excel in their particular category. Winter and snow traction and rolling resistance, summer and dry and wet braking. And separately, the all season tires lay in the middle of most categories. It might be a daunting task to choose amongst so many options, but here's a really simple way to look at it. If you live in a cold weather area where it's 32 degrees on an average winter day and there's lots of snow and ice, you probably hate your life and you should also get winter tires. I hate everything. Also in this scenario, you should have a good set of all season or summer tires to pair with your winter tires. That way you're not using them year round. Otherwise, we believe finding a single dependable set of all season tires is the best for your wallet and time, and also for your wallet. And now it's time to move on to our crazy helpful list of suggestions. Summer tires are great for performance and have superb handling. They also work well in the rain, but they're more of a car enthusiast tire, not suggested for our day-to-day -day commuter. It's like the Jeff Goldblum of tires. Checkmate. This is because they have a higher speed rating which makes them significantly more expensive due to their higher quality rubber. The better rubber, the better grip. And when you have better grip, it tends to wear down a little bit quicker. If you like to go fast, this is our suggestion for you. The Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. It has superb grip and handling. It's great on wet roads, and it's used by top performance companies like Audi and Porsche. Tested tirelessly, to be one of the top consumer summer tires. The tire sidewall also has this cool wool aesthetic. It has no actual benefit, but it's cool. Just remember, summer tires and this tire are more expensive. And for the sake of your grandpappy, don't drive this during the winter. Now we're on to winter tires. They make up a small population of our consumers, but if you live in a cold, wet area, they can literally be lifesavers. This is our winter tire suggestion. The Michelin XI XI3. They're the best value from our top competitors, and it has a wonderful tread wear indicator that actually tells you when it's no longer safe to drive for snowy and icy conditions. It's also studless. Quick caveat, studs are found on some aggressive winter tires. These are actually illegal in some states, so it's probably best to go studless. 
Some of the cons are a slight underperformance to the Bridgestone Blizzak, but for the cheaper price, we figured we'd go with the Michelin. Also, it's not recommended for dry and wet conditions, in case you didn't already know that. Now, all season tires. These are the workhorse for the working class. They're our tire with a Y champions. Versatile, well-priced, and long-lasting. Because they're so great, we're gonna give you three of our top favorites. And I'm no mathematician, but three's better than one. The first and our favorite is the Michelin Pilot Sport AS3+. Plus. It has a wonderful wet and dry performance and is still comfortable. It's operated for us and for most lists. Some of the cons are with the combination of the tread wear rating of 500 and an unremarkable fuel economy. It's not our lowest price choice. Another thing to keep a lookout for, on the speed rating of this Michelin brand, there's an ultra high performance and a high performance. With the ultra high performance, it has a W and Y rating. On the high performance, it has an H or V rating. Now we explained this in the other video, but just in case you missed it, I'll go through the numbers real quick. V has a speed rating of 149, H of 130, W of 168, and Y of 186. Our personal recommendation is to go with the speed rating that most accurately fits your driving style means that if you're not going 168 miles per hour, we don't recommend the high performance brand. The Michelin Defender, a good blend of comfort, handling, and noise with a UTQG rating of 820 and good fuel economy, this is our greatest value. On the cons list, it's not as wonderful and wet handling compared to the others, but it's still strong. Our third choice is the Yokohama Avid Ascend. It's a very well-rounded tire, and it has a great price and an impressive 740 tread wear in that UTQG rating. It lands itself as our best cost. Now, as you would expect, some of the cons of a lower cost are that it doesn't have quite as great of handling or stop time. Now, I know we mentioned Michelin a lot, but I promise they haven't given us any money. We just really love their tires. No corporate sponsorships. Now, if you want to install your own tires, best of luck. It requires pretty specific and expensive tools. So our suggestion, buy your tires online and then take them to a mechanic to put them on for you. A few last notes. If you're buying a new set of tires, make sure you buy all four, especially if you're buying summer or winter tires. It is not recommended at all to leave that tire shop with only one or two or even three of those winter or summer tires. Make sure you buy the whole set. Now, if you're buying all season tires, sometimes we'll let you get away with buying only two of the all season but still, we recommend getting all four for the top performance. Now on the note of warranties. They're not all complete nonsense, but we wouldn't focus on them if you're looking for a new set of tires. Most of the time, the return that you get from those warranties is actually fractional, meaning that you won't get the full price returned to you if those tires fail before the warranty is up. For other simple, fun how-to videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, so that we can stay fit. Lonnie there's lost 10 pounds since we started. And if you haven't yet, make sure to download the Fixed app. We have cool features that help you track your tires, and also we'll give you recommendations on local shops. Cheers, and happy driving, everyone.